Uh, I have prepared this uh, graduation speech and I have just categorized in the benefit of uh, all. Uh, I will be starting with like, uh, why did I join this program? All the reasoning behind that, what mm -hmm. we talked before. Uh, and then I will be moving to what I understood the structure of this program. It, it, this is in the benefit for anyone who joined like Uday and Aparna, how they can benefit uh, from this program. And then <clears throat> I will shift to what worked well for me, what I tried to achieve, what did I use, utilize from this program. And uh, what are the opportunities I like, what are the things I missed it out or might would have done better uh, and moved further along over here, right? And finally, like, did I achieve my goal? Did, like for which I have come here. So I just categorized this uh, graduation speech into these five sections and maybe speaking one by one. <laughs> Does that sound good yeah. to you? Okay. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> very nice. Okay. So why did I join this program? Like uh, nothing new, like all of us are on the same boat. And I joined also with the same thought, like if I am uh, stuck in one position for a very long time, there is something that I don't know, right? My leadership always say that I, I am a good technical leader, but they never uh, visualize me as a leader in the leadership role, right? Uh, I have aspirations to present my company, my organization, my team in some kind of big forum and inspire, influence people and di did not get an opportunity to do that. Why, right? And uh, why when I influence, is it not so effective sometimes? And sometimes people say it looks like they are influenced, but not, right? What are the leadership traits? Uh, why those are called as leader while we are not being treated as a leader, right? So there are some some of these questions were running in my mind. And I tried it to learn from different uh, leaders within my organization and across like outside of my organization with, with whom I connected in the past. I did not get any answer to it. Right. And that's definitely as all of you have an aspiration side to have to move into a uh, like director or senior director or VP role in future. That that is my end goal. But this program is ending. Actually, this is my beginning of my journey, if I will say, because what I have learned is I'm implementing and I'm going to continue implementing this one. So these are a couple of reasons why I joined this program and how Ravi actually helped me to uh, like change. So Ravi, uh, Ravi told me you are version V1 because V1 and let's see if after the program, whether it is a version V1.5, V1.2.1 or not. So let's see that at the end, right? So for the benefit of the of uh, Uday and Aparna or Abdul or anybody else who joined, I just wanted to speak about uh, the program structure that I understood. And I think you can benefit if you understand from the beginning or day one or week one, right? So this program has three pillars. Uh, one pillar is just sitting in front of us, Ravi. And he is a source of energy, positive source of energy on the morning time, right? You wake up and you attend his call and you are filled with a lot of positive energy, right? His guidance and motivations are always required in time to time when you are in this program getting shifted in some other directions. And he, he is approachable. He has given me a lot of good directions at different point in time, helped me. If, for example, if you are getting stuck that you are unable to do progress because of some other blockers, Ravi is the go-to person and uh, seek help from him, but you need to be open. That is the one thing I did. I was open to Ravi my problems and he just solved like that. <laughs> so, uh, and the second pillar is Alison. So he, uh, she, she helped me uh, differentiating between my leader inside me and the monkey inside me. The biggest thing that I did is, uh, a mistake I did is I connected to her very late in the game, like week third or week fourth. I should have done in the week one. And uh, the early I would have connected, early I could have differentiated between this, these two people inside me. And I would have started talking between these two, right? Once uh, once I have connected with uh, Alison and uh, the, way we, the way she went away and uh, helped me understanding my monkey part, my leadership part, over a period of time in the week third and week fourth, actually all these three three people were talking inside me. Whether I'm in kitchen, whether I'm sleeping, or whether I'm in somewhere, these three people, myself, 
my monkey and my leadership are fighting to each other like continuously and that has like largely improved my uh, presence all over and confidence level right third and third pillar is michelle so michelle uh, helped me in resume building and LinkedIn profile updates. So uh, where, uh, how is uh, resume building helpful is what you're here for, what you're looking for yourself as a future. Once you start working about your resume, you will see yourself, your future self in that resume. And Michelle, Michelle help to achieve that portion. And the moment you do that, you will see, I have seen the confidence grown up drastically in myself. So I think, Ravi, Michelle, and Alison, three pillars for me. And I feel like whenever I need help, they're approachable and they're so kind. Uh, Wumi training is very much important here in the course structure. So week one training, whoever have joined in the first week, ensure that like you have attended the week one training because if you missed in week one so you will be uh, it will be difficult to understand how you want to approach further so week one women training what ravi has explained each uh, format about this project uh, program uh, it, it is very helpful the template the uh, format of any document utilize, utilization of that is very important right so these are the key things for this program that are very important i guess and it is helping it, it helped me and it is helping i think in future also it is going to help me uh moving further what worked well for this program right most important part so i will say that self-awareness and uh, self-awareness about what self-awareness about many things not being not present so Un, like unintentionally, I was not present in many moments at home, in office, in many places, right? But uh, using this morning meditation and the meditation just before this meeting and after this meeting actually helped me to be available of being present at the current moment. What Ravi is actually speaking during those five minutes completely makes sense and I'm able to completely absorb that and utilize that and over a period of time, I was able to understand the benefit of this meditation. Initially, it was hard. I was thinking, why I'm doing this meditation? What is the benefit? Uh, but this is to make yourself aware that what you're doing. For example, I was unaware that I was not present in the current moment. I was unaware that I was doing procrastination right but this helped me and uh, then uh, like I was thinking like why I'm unable to achieve my goals like why I'm not consistent for something but the moment awareness came into myself like procrastination and I got to know oh I have to remove procrastination to get my goals and that's how all of this thing triggered for me and started working so procrastination is something that i work so basically if i'm learning anything from this program i'm implementing that immediately instead of being delayed it for example i will say only videos there is a very wonderful video by ravi around uh, time management and uh, i was like i i went through that and it spoke about like how we engage our brain on unknown things or a lot many small tasks. And because of that, we are unable to manage our time. So I immediately I put the boat on the wall. Whenever I go here and there, I just write down or dump it, everything on, on that board. And I feel so light and I feel I have so much of time to do new things. So uh, so I what I did is an immediate implementation of the learnings that I just got from either Woomly video or from Ravi. So those are a few things. And uh, definitely, as I spoke about Alison, connecting with Alison, understanding uh, leader inside myself actually helped me a lot. Working with Michelle, role play is an important thing. So role play with Alison and uh, boosting that confidence really helped me. And again, implementation of that role play, play is what boosted my confidence. First day when I did that role play, in that first Thursday, I implemented that in uh, in this Thursday call, uh, just doing the same thing again in the night. Uh, one, like 10% uh, 
boost up of my confidence. In the third day, I, I implemented that with my manager. Again, 10% boost up of my confidence. In the fifth day, I implemented it with one of the senior director, sorry, director of technology, and it boosted me 50% more. And after one week, I again implemented the same thing with my own senior director, and it really moved me to the 70%. So now uh, I am fully present in the meeting and also I'm not hesitant on talking on any topics either to the senior leadership or to anyone, right? So uh, I feel uh, like I feel I'm already a director or in a leadership position. For sure, and that's where I do not have any hesitant on talking to, on, on talking on any topic uh, to any of the leadership within my organization. Earlier, I was hesitant: should I talk to uh, this person? Should I talk to that person or not? Right. So, <clears throat> yeah. Disk report is something which is also very important. Though I have not utilized it hundred percent, I think it is what I have uh, listened from the past. Uh, uh, people over here is this report actually really helpful to understand yourself and the person with whom you want to work. I have implemented 10% of that. And I really, I uh, I got some success around uh, using that disk report. So <clears throat> this is what worked for me. Uh, I am just going to shift on what I missed it out. So two very important thing I missed out is talking to Alison early in the phase and and uh, anybody who is my buddy partner in any of the week, I'm always suggesting that go talk to Alison, go get your role play done ahead, not wait till the end of the program or last week of the program. And you will see the difference after that. Second thing is disk report. Utilize disk report in fullest. So I think these are the two things which I really missed. And uh, but still, I get a 100% benefit uh, after connecting to Alison, Michelle and Ravi on time to time. Finally, so am I version uh, V2 or not? I'm uh, like, I think by this time you would have already known that how happy I am uh, with all the achievements I have. So I am present. I'm able to talk confidently with uh, all the leadership, right? Definitely the last important thing was for me for influencing people, right? Influencing people without authority is a key leadership quality, I feel. And uh, I was behind that, okay, I need a leadership position to get an authority and to talk to people and influence about what I am interested upon. But from this program, I got to learn how to influence people. So from one person to five person to a group uh, of people, now to a whole engineering community, I could able to influence. And as I spoke in a previous meeting, uh, I just like uh, successfully completed one demo day, uh, not demo day, hack day with a bunch of engineers, approximately 15, 20 engineers who were opposed of doing the demo day were uh, with me during the demo day. So these are all great achievements for me. And I feel I'm already in version two, Ravi, thanks to you so much. 